Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Toyota logo inside Microsoft Word and it will be surprisingly easy. So on the left side you can see I have some image downloaded from the internet. The right logo is actually created inside Microsoft Word. But first we have to start with something. We have to start with some shape and it will be you know a little bit complicated to do this inside Microsoft Word because there are no boolean operation. So we will start in PowerPoint instead. So I already have this PowerPoint presentation and I already have this image in there. So what I will do is I will select insert shapes, new oval shape, and I will draw the oval as big as the logo itself, like, like this, which should be right size. Then I will right click, select format shape. It may not be visible. So right click, select format shape and make sure there's a little bit of transparency for this shape. So I can see the shape below the logo below. And then I will just, you know, zoom as much as I can like this and make sure that it really copies the shape of the logo. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this first oval, so I will copy paste it one more time and trace the inner part. And I will not trace it around the edge, but actually around the inner part, so around this part, like this. Again, copy paste, make it a little bit smaller and then continue with another shape, which maybe could be like this one, the middle part. I will again trace the outer part like this and make sure that it's the right size. Then I will copy paste it one more time and you know resize it to fill the hole inside like this. It's a little bit of mess. You can you can always hide some of those ellipses if you don't see it properly, but I'm fine right now because only the top part is missing. So I will copy paste it one more time. I will resize it to be the size of the outer shape of the out of the top part around like this and I'll make it a little bit wider and if I press the control key it will be actually resized to the right and left side at the same time and I can also use my arrow keys on my keyboard to make sure that everything is aligned properly copy paste it one more time that will be the last time and I will resize it to copy this inner part of the top shape maybe like this again I will resize it just a tiny little bit like this move it with my arrow keys then I will what I will do is I will select the home ribbon select and selection pane and as you can see I have six different ovals I will hide the picture and all of the ovals and I will oval only you know select or show the first two of them I will select both of them and in the format ribbon I will select merge shapes I will select subtract and I will do this for the you know third and fourth one as well select subtract and the last pair again select subtract what i will do is with all those three shapes i will select merge shape union and that will give me a shape which will be our base shape for the logo now i can still you know continue inside powerpoint or i can jump into word what i will probably do is i'll probably jump into the word so i'll copy this shape and paste it into blank document but you are free to do the same in the powerpoint if you like because those options are really the same. You can see that my logo in Microsoft Word is a little bit smaller, so I'll resize the shape, move it to the right side, right click, select format shape, and I will start with some gray color. So I will set the transparency back to zero, line to no line, and I will set some kind of you know, dark or light gray color. They're just a temporary color, I may change it in the future. Then I will jump to the effects ribbon, and in the 3D rotation, I will select presets, perspective front and in the 3d format i will just raise the width until i will see some edges like this maybe like about nine or so you can see they are very rounded we are looking for those hard edges so i will change the top bevel from this round to the slant version and immediately you can see those edges are being a little bit more visible i will increase also the height and maybe width even a little bit more then i will scroll down and change the material to the metal one which will give me more highlights and i will play with the angle to set it to maybe like 40 or 50 degrees or such it's not yet looking like the original logo but bear with me what we want to do is we want to add a little bit more perspective you can see in this logo you can see those inner parts those inner bevels much more than the outer bevels so what we can do is we can increase the perspective which almost works like if, if as if we were using the fish island so if i set the perspective to about i don't know 110 degrees you will see that those inner edges are much more visible than the outer ones but just because we have more perspective going on i can maybe change the color to make it a little bit brighter like this 
or maybe the in between and I will maybe also raise this even more like like this maybe to 15 points or so what I can do is I can also add a little bit of depth you know it will add more of the extrusion it's we don't need extrusion but it will give us a little bit of different color in here so if I just keep it with a very small value like 2 it just adds an extra detail in here so I'm pretty you know satisfied with the result as for the 3d object what we want to do is we made to change the color a little bit more maybe to have a gradient fill so in the fill options I will switch from solid fill to gradient fill and I will add few gradient stops I will start with maybe this lighter gray color going to darker gray color again to lighter one you know some random basically some random gray values and I want to be it like going from top to bottom so that will be maybe 118 or probably 90 degrees or so maybe 270 that's better so it's like light on the bottom somewhere around the bottom is darker and it's again a little bit lighter down here down here so I will move those around a little bit like this and I want this to be a little bit tinted to the blue, blue color so it looks like it's actually a metal thing so what I can do is I can open the more colors properties or dialog and in here I will not move those sliders but instead I will just increase the blue value a little bit so I will press the up arrow key like five or you know four or three times just so you can see that this uh, crosshair is moving a little bit to the top and it may not be visible on this video because of the compression but the color is has a little bit of blue tint and if we do this for all those gray stops the effect will be that it really looks more like a, like a metal thing because there is a little bit of blue tint so I will do this for all those gradient stops and I'm pretty happy with the result of course you can play with the gradient as, as long as you want but just to keep this tutorial short I will call it done and I will just uh, finish by just adding a new text box like this typing Toyota I will change the font to be Arial bold size maybe I don't know 80 or so points I should have the red color already in here so I will just change the shape fill to be no fill and outline to be shape outline to be no outline make this center aligned you know move it more to the right so it's not getting in the way of the original logo and we are done we have a nice looking Toyota logo in almost no time done in Microsoft Word that's it thanks for watching